What's up folks, Bobby D here and welcome to another special edition of the Road 12 to 25 Days of Reality Christmas. This is day 15. Today we're talking about Christmas travel. You know, over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. Uh, you know, the travel can sometimes be terrible. Even though they people want a white Christmas, but sometimes they don't want a real big white Christmas because the roads will be hard to travel. Now, some people go by plane, some people go by car, some people go by train or bus. But they'll go on one thing, to a family, to see members of a family. But Christmas travel is, these days, surprising. Some people think they want to go on a Christmas vacation to to an island or Florida or even Paris or all that. But the reality is a Christmas vacation can be pricey, but the traffic can be really brutal. Um, make sure you guys got snow tires you know, snow tires or certain type of tires because of the um, snow and ice. Uh huh. And also, you better make sure that your flight doesn't get canceled with all this is going on. If if your flight gets canceled, that's gonna be a problem. Some, but the reality is, this is what's going on. You believe in your faith with your family. And you know you pray for traveling mercies and all that. But there are good places. Some people want to go to Disney World to see the Christmas parade. Or want to go to California where the nice San Fernando Valley. Or even they want to go to a Caribbean island. But mostly people want to go to their homes. You know, to um, uh, long lost mom and dad or anything like that. But vacation, you know, like, a big, you know, going home for Christmas is the best thing to do. Even if you only live a few miles, Christmas travel is going to be tough. You know, there's a lot. <coughs> a lot of Christmas is going to be a lot of tough. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. But you know how to deal with the reality of it that not be able to make it because of the weather and all that stuff? There's a little bit of a crutch. I'm still waiting on Sierra, and I hope to still get that Go Kiker gift for Christmas. If not, I understand. That means I have to save up all my money for that, for either the mega, for the Super Mega Force stuff. But and I got another Christmas Carol for you to mine at the time. Chipmunks roasting on an open fire, hot sauce dripping through their toes, yellow-tied squirrels fresh filleted by the choir, they poked out skewers through their nose, everybody knows, some pepper and a garlic clove help to make them seasoned right. Tiny rats with a crisp going goat will really hit the spot tonight. And now when Santa sees the stray, there'll be some homemade chamon turkey for a sleigh. And every hungry child is going to spy to see if chipmunks can really sing 
when they fry. And so I'm brushing on some honey glaze to keep them crisp and juicy too. Let's hope they get served many times, many ways, tasty chipmunks. Good food. On that, Mr. Cole. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Seville. Would you mind handing me the barbecue sauce? I am starved. Oh, no problem, Dave. Listen, you have two of those drugs, they're all so tiny. There's like a tree farm. I ain't with any rice, Dave. First stock in Melvin. For years, the old going here has been my meal ticket. Now you got. I can just see you on my meal. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't know you'd find one day. Darn straight. And so I'm offering some recipes from Chipmunk Pie to Chipmunk Stew. I'm not really sad that in this way for each chipmunks good food. Well... I'll think of more stuff for the rest of this 8, 12 to 25 days of the early Christmas. But, this is kind of a big thing. So I say thank you and have a wonderful day.